the mystery surrounding 3i Atlas has taken a startling new turn. Harvard I astrophysicist Avi Loeb, who um, first rose to prominence the, for his bold theories about Oumuamua, uh, has revealed data life, that suggests holes, this interstellar uh, visitor may be far more massive than anyone expected. For months, astronomers tracked 3i Atlas across the skies, gathering over 4,000 precise measurements from hundreds of observatories. These data points, spread across the months from May to September, were used to calculate its orbit with exquisite precision. The surprise? Despite clear signs of gas and dust streaming from its surface, 3i Atlas showed no measurable deviation from the path dictated by gravity alone. That finding might sound subtle, but in the world of cometary physics, it is extraordinary. Every active comet that vents gas into space experiences some degree of non-gravitational acceleration, tiny but detectable nudges that shift its orbit. Oumuamua's strange drift was one of the main reasons it captured the world's imagination. But with 3i Atlas, the opposite problem emerged. Webb telescope data suggested it was shedding about 150 kilograms of material per second. By all accounts, that activity should have been enough to shove the comet ever so slightly, an effect we could see from Earth. Yet Loeb's team found nothing. No push, no drift, just a stubborn adherence to the pull of the sun. The implications are profound. If a comet is losing mass at that rate, but still refuses to budge, then the nucleus must be enormous. Loeb's calculations suggest a bulk weight of at least 33 billion metric tons. That translates to a diameter exceeding 5 kilometers, assuming a density in line with known comets. To put that in perspective, 2i Borisov, the previous interstellar visitor, measured only about a kilometer across, while Oumuamua was just a fragment a few hundred meters long. Compared to these, 3i Atlas is a behemoth, an interstellar mountain hurtling through our solar system at incredible speeds. Such a massive object poses a puzzle for astronomers. According to current models, giant interstellar comets should be exceedingly rare. Planetary systems may eject debris into the void, but throwing out something this large is supposed to be almost impossible. And yet here it is, the third interstellar visitor we have ever seen, and it dwarfs its predecessors by orders of magnitude. Loeb calls it anomalously massive, and the term is no exaggeration. If nature made 3 eye atlas, it means our understanding of how stars and planets form and shed material may be incomplete. If it isn't purely natural, the implications are even stranger. As more data poured in, the portrait of 3 eye atlas grew richer and stranger. The James Webb Space Telescope revealed that its coma is dominated not by water vapor, as in many solar system comets, but by carbon dioxide. The ratio of carbon dioxide to water is unusually high, suggesting that this object may have formed in a region of its home system rich in frozen carbon dioxide, or that it has preserved layers of ices shielded deep within its nucleus. At the same time, ultraviolet observations from Earth-orbiting observatories picked up evidence of hydroxyl radicals, the telltale products of water being broken apart by sunlight. This means the comet is also venting water at tens of kilograms per second, even at distances where solar heating should not normally drive such activity. Together, these measurements point to a volatile rich object unlike anything we typically observe among comets born in our own Oort's cloud. Even its dust is unusual. Polarization studies, which measure how sunlight is scattered and polarized by dust particles, found that 3i Atlas exhibits a polarization pattern that does not match the standard behavior of known comets. The particles in its comma appear to have different sizes or structures, possibly more porous or exotic than what we are used to. An anti-tail, a faint streak of dust pointing toward the sun rather than away from it, was also observed, likely caused by the peculiar geometry of its orbit and the persistence of large dust grains. Every measurement added new layers of oddity. Here was an object behaving like a comet, with a tail and active venting, but refusing to show the orbital shifts that activity should produce. For Loeb, this contradiction became the centerpiece of his argument. If outgassing is real and measurable, but no acceleration follows, then perhaps the nucleus is so massive that the effect is diluted beyond detection. But if the nucleus is not as massive as his estimates suggest, then the absence of acceleration must have another explanation. It was here that Loeb, never one to shy from controversy, entertained possibilities outside the norm. Just as he once argued that Oumuamua's peculiar acceleration could have been caused by radiation pressure on a thin, sail-like structure, he now considered whether 3i Atlas could be more than an icy rock.
Could it be a fragment of something artificial, a structure engineered to mimic cometary activity while preserving a stable trajectory? These ideas are speculative, but they have precedent in Loeb's work. His 2021 book, Extraterrestrial, made the case that Oumuamua might have been alien technology, sparking heated debate in the scientific community. Critics accused him of sensationalism, but supporters praised his willingness to explore possibilities others dismissed. Loeb's guiding philosophy is that extraordinary anomalies demand open-minded inquiry, and that the search for technosignatures, potential evidence of extraterrestrial technology, should be pursued with the same rigor as any other branch of astronomy. To him, ignoring such puzzles would be more unscientific than considering them. Still, not everyone is convinced. Many comet researchers argue that the evidence can be explained naturally without invoking alien engineering. Some suggest that the mass loss estimates may be overstated, or that the gas jets are distributed in ways that cancel out acceleration. Others point out that our observations of interstellar objects are inherently limited and prone to uncertainty. Statistical models indicate that, while rare, the ejection of very large bodies from planetary systems is not impossible. In this view, 3i Atlas is simply a giant comet, unusual but not inexplicable, and the absence of non-gravitational acceleration is a quirk of measurement or geometry. The debate mirrors the one that erupted around Oumuamua. There, too, Loeb emphasized anomalies, its flat shape, its tumbling motion, its unexplained acceleration, and suggested artificial origin as a hypothesis worth considering. Mainstream astronomers lean toward natural explanations, from a hydrogen iceberg to a fluffy fractal dust aggregate. The truth remains unsettled, but the controversy highlighted how little we know about interstellar wanderers. Each new object becomes a test case, expanding our catalog of possibilities. 2i Borisov, which looked and behaved like a textbook comet, reassured those who favored natural explanations. 3i Atlas, however, reopens the door to the unexpected. Beyond questions of origin, the sheer existence of 3i Atlas carries enormous implications. If such a large interstellar comet is passing through our solar system, it means that planetary systems across the galaxy must be ejecting material at scales larger than we thought possible. The ejection of kilometer-sized fragments can be explained by gravitational interactions during planet formation, but flinging out bodies five kilometers wide requires enormous dynamical energy. Perhaps giant planets in its home system played a role, or perhaps stellar encounters or other exotic mechanisms are at work. Either way, 3i Atlas challenges theories of how planetary systems evolve and shed debris into interstellar space. Its study also underscores the importance of vigilance. Interstellar objects are messengers, carrying with them the chemical fingerprints of other suns. In 2i Borisov, astronomers saw a composition strikingly similar to local comets, implying common processes across the galaxy. In 3i Atlas, the dominance of carbon dioxide and the unusual polarization signature suggest a diversity of planetary nurseries, each leaving its mark on the bodies it ejects. By studying such visitors, we can begin to piece together a galactic inventory of materials and processes, glimpses into worlds we may never see directly. The practical challenge is that these objects are fleeting. 3i Atlas, like Oumuamua and Borisov before it, will sweep past the sun and vanish into the dark. Each one offers only a brief observational window before it is gone forever. That brevity has led some scientists to propose rapid response missions, spacecraft ready to launch on short notice, capable of intercepting the next interstellar visitor. Concepts like the Comet Interceptor mission, planned by the European Space Agency, are designed with this flexibility in mind. Should another object appear, one of these craft could be diverted to meet it, capturing images and data up close. For now, such missions remain aspirational, but the motivation grows stronger with each discovery. In the meantime, Earth-based and space-based telescopes continue to track 3i Atlas, collecting every photon they can. Its tail, comma, and spectral fingerprints are scrutinized night after night. The comet may hold secrets about the building blocks of planets, the volatility of ices, 
and the processes that shape bodies across the galaxy. Or it may, as Loeb provocatively suggests, hold evidence of something more. Even if the artificial hypothesis proves unfounded, the act of considering it pushes astronomers to design sharper tests to refine their instruments and to approach anomalies without complacency. There is a deeper cultural dimension to this as well. Interstellar objects touch a nerve in the human imagination. They are emissaries from beyond, travelers from other suns. The possibility, however remote, that they could be technological artifacts resonates with our ancient longing for contact, for confirmation that we are not alone. The controversy around Loeb's ideas reflects not just scientific disagreements, but also the weight of this hope and fear. Science is, after all, conducted by humans, and humans carry stories with them, stories of visitors, omens, and worlds beyond our own. As 3i Atlas recedes from view in the coming months, the debates will not fade with it. Observatories around the world will continue to sift through their archives, reanalyzing every photon of light that touched their mirrors, searching for new patterns hidden in the noise. Teams of astronomers will publish competing papers, some emphasizing the comet's natural strangeness, others pointing out the statistical improbability of its size or behavior, each argument adding another layer to the puzzle. Conferences will host spirited discussions, graduate students will take up the challenge of modeling its orbit and chemistry, and telescopes still within range will track its fading tail until the last glimmers vanish into interstellar night. The object itself will not care. It will continue along its lonely trajectory, slipping back into the great dark, a silent traveler indifferent to the excitement it stirred among the tiny minds of one small planet. Yet even in its silence it has left an indelible mark. Its passage becomes more than an astronomical event. It becomes part of our cultural imagination. Oumuamua startled us with its strangeness. Borisov reassured us with its cometary familiarity. And now Atlas confronts us with scale, a body so massive it stretches our models of planetary dynamics. Their arrival in such a short span of human history is statistically astonishing. For centuries, no confirmed interstellar objects were known, and then within just a few years, we have seen three. Some astronomers caution this is partly a product of technology. Our surveys have grown sharper, our telescopes more vigilant, but there is still a sense of uncanny timing as though these objects have come precisely when we were ready to notice them. Each one reminds us that our solar system is not a sealed-off sanctuary, but a crossroads in the galaxy's endless circulation of material. Stars shed debris, planets eject fragments, comets wander beyond the bonds of their home systems, and some of those wayfarers inevitably pass through our skies. Perhaps the most important lesson is humility. We have only just begun to glimpse these travelers. Each one has defied expectations and forced revisions of theory. More will come, and with them, more surprises. Whether natural or not, 3i Atlas is a reminder that the cosmos is not static and that our models are only provisional. The truth of its nature may take years to settle and may never be fully known, but the act of pursuing that truth, of stretching our imagination and refining our instruments, is itself the essence of science. In the end, what matters most is that we remain attentive. Objects like 3i Atlas will not wait for us. They arrive unannounced and vanish without care. To meet them, we must be ready, with open eyes, open instruments, and open minds. Some may be ordinary, some extraordinary, and perhaps, someday, one may carry a message not written in dust or ice, but in intention. Until then, each comet, each fragment, each interstellar mountain is a page from the galaxy's book carried across light years to land, briefly, in our sky.